in the watermelon greenhouse, all is not well. It hasn't been a good year for growing watermelons. We haven't had enough sun and we've had a lot of cold winds during the summer months and that's not ideal for growing good watermelons. But we've managed to get one, but in a good year we'd want more. Although Sarah has been able to provide the watermelon with plenty of water, because of the overcast days, she couldn't provide it with enough heat. But why is heat, or lack of it, so important? It's all to do with special molecules that control photosynthesis, called enzymes. The water molecules bind with these enzymes. It's only by binding with the enzymes that the water molecules can split into two. The molecules have to split into two for the photosynthesis to take place. On a hot day, the water molecules are frantic, continually binding and unbinding with the enzymes. Photosynthesis takes place and the plant grows. But on a cold day, the molecules move more slowly. The critical binding with the enzyme slows down and photosynthesis is hardly happening at all. There were simply too many of these cold summer days this year. There was too little photosynthesis and most of the crop failed. But not only does Sarah have to worry about cold weather, she also has to worry about things getting too hot. In the middle of summer, the worst problem is uh, too much sunlight into the glass house, which means the temperature inside really builds up. And if I don't vent the glass houses like this, the plants could shrivel up and die. When it gets too hot, things start to go wrong. Too much heat causes the enzyme molecule to lose its critical shape. It denatures. Having lost its shape, the water molecules can no longer bind to it. If this happens, the plant cannot photosynthesize, so ultimately it will shrivel up and die. So Sarah has to keep the temperature just right, neither too hot nor too cold, if she's to have a chance of getting the perfect crop. 